Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today is gonna be another one of my all-time favorite makeup product kind of video. Did that make sense? I'm not sure. And it's also a little bit embarrassing because I'm wearing the same sweatshirt as I wore in my last all-time favorite video. Today is gonna be focused around liquid lipsticks. My first video that I did with eyeshadow palettes, a lot of you asked for a liquid lipstick video and I thought that I would get that over with because I've had the same favorite, like all-time favorite liquid lipsticks for a really long time now. Nothing has been added to the list and nothing has really been taken off. To be honest, I don't have that many all-time favorite liquid lipsticks. I am so, so picky when it comes to wearing lipsticks out in public. I want them to last well, I want them to feel comfortable, and I want them to be the right shade for like my skin tone and the makeup that I'm wearing. So a lot of these colors are pretty similar. They're all pretty much in the same shade range or like shade family, I guess color family. So this might be a little boring to some of you, but if you're interested in hearing my opinion on the best long lasting and comfortable liquid lipsticks, then just keep on watching. Let's go ahead and get right into it. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven or eight liquid lipsticks that I stick to that are my go-tos and that I trust. One of them is my own liquid lipstick, the Beauty Bakery Salted Caramel Mocha. It is no longer in stock, so I won't be talking about that, but that is my all-time ultimate favorite liquid lipstick. It's just not in stock anymore. They don't sell it, which is so sad, but that just goes to show how much I truly do love Beauty Bakery and their liquid lipsticks. So I'm gonna start from my top favorites going down the list. My top favorite liquid lipstick brand that I trust the absolute most out of any of them is Beauty Bakery. I trust this brand to not transfer on anything, to stay on my lips all day without cracking or crumbling or anything. I trust it to be comfortable and for me to feel comfortable with them on. Beauty Bakery is definitely like my number one most loved liquid lipstick brand just because I trust it when it's on my lips. So besides Salted Caramel Mocha, I have two favorite colors from Beauty Bakery and that is Versailles and Take Me for Pomegranate. I'm not wearing either of them on my lips right now. This is like the last liquid lipstick that I'm gonna be talking about. I just didn't take it off from doing swatches. Um, but anyways, my favorite color is Versailles just because I think that this color goes with pretty much any makeup look. I wear it all the time when I'm going out or when I just wanna like amp up my look a little bit. It is such a pretty color. I feel like it's it fits all skin tones out there. It is such a good universal color. And then I always go for Take Me For Pomegranate when I'm wanting to do a bold look. It's not like a true, true red. It's kind of like a cranberry, like red berry-ish color. They do have a true red. It's called Cranberry Stiletto, but it is very, very bright. And I only, I think I've only worn that out in public like once. It was a super, super pretty color but I just don't normally wear like bright red lipsticks these are just the colors that I normally would wear so yeah so if you're wanting like a completely transfer proof long wear liquid lipstick that you will most likely feel comfortable in I would go for Beauty Bakery um, one thing you need to know about these liquid lipsticks is when they dry for the first like hour or so they're gonna feel a little bit tacky like when you push your lips together they will stick a little bit some people find that really annoying but I I learned to get over that because these liquid lipsticks are so long lasting. I think it's probably something in the formula that helps it stick together and stay on your lips. It does go away after time, so you don't need to worry about it being sticky like the whole day, but that is something to take in consideration. If you are totally against the stickiness or the tackiness, I would maybe only buy one liquid lipstick from Beauty Bakery and test it out to see if you like it. Like don't buy a whole pack if you're not completely sure how you feel about it. At first I was a little Little bit confused why it was sticky when I first tried out Beauty Bakery liquid lipsticks but I learned to get over it because they do last for such a long time. The next brand that is pretty comparable to Beauty Bakery is the Balm Meet Matte Hues liquid lipsticks. My favorite shades are Committed and Adoring. So Committed is pretty similar to Versailles for me. It's just a little less pink, I would say, and a little less dark. It stays on forever, and it has this really cool mint smell and like cooling mint feeling. Committed also has that stickiness, kind of tacky feeling after it dries for a little bit, but I don't mind because this liquid lipstick stays on all day without flaking, without transferring, or anything like that. This is like my number three liquid lipstick that I reach for. It's a really, really pretty neutral, like 
pinky nude shade and I feel like it would work for most skin types or skin tones. I keep saying skin types. And then Adoring is the red liquid lipstick that I go for if I'm ever wanting to wear a red lipstick. This lipstick, however, does transfer a little bit. So if you're like planning on making out with somebody or kissing somebody, I probably wouldn't wear this. I would stick to maybe a red from Beauty Bakery's liquid lipsticks. But I wear this red because it is the most comfortable red liquid lipstick you will ever wear. It wears beautifully. It does not crumble or transfer onto your teeth. It is a really, really stable red liquid lipstick. It's just the outer layer does transfer a bit. But I just like it because it feels moisturizing. It does not wrinkle or crumble throughout time. It just kind of like wears softly on your lips, almost like a normal lipstick, but it's a little bit more stable than a normal lipstick, if that makes sense. I just really like this because it feels very, very comfortable on my lips and I'm very, very particular about my liquid lipsticks when I'm wearing them. Like throughout the day, I constantly check my lips to see if my lipstick has transferred anywhere on my face just because I'm psycho like that. And this red lipstick has never let me down, so I really do trust it. Next brand is Ofra Cosmetics. I like Ofra's liquid lipsticks because they feel the most comfortable and the most moisturizing on my lips. They are 100% not transfer proof, like they will transfer and they will kind of fade over time but they are the most comfortable and the least like harsh on your lips but I like them because they don't crumble they don't get all gross on the inside they just kind of like wear off like a normal lipstick so if you are new to liquid lipsticks and you're not sure how you feel about the like powerful stay on really long lasting liquid lipsticks I would go for Ofra they have just like really a really moisturizing formula and the most comfortable formula in my opinion my favorite shades are Nude Potion and Mocha. Nude Potion, I believe, is a part of Nikki Tutorial's collab. I use this shade all the time. I use it mainly when I do weddings. I mean, I don't really do weddings anymore, but when I do my friends' makeup for weddings and stuff, this is the shade that I use to like mix with because normally brides want like a light nude or pinky lipstick, something natural and something comfortable. So I always reach for this and like I add a little bit of pink or add a little bit of red just to like mix together basically. And I like to use it because it feels really, really comfortable. Most people aren't very used to wearing super long lasting liquid lipsticks so they don't want something too harsh. And it's just a really, really pretty pale nude color. And then Mocha is probably one of my favorite shades out of all the lipsticks that I have tried. It's just this really beautiful mauve pink kind of almost brown a little bit lipstick. It works for pretty much every single makeup look that I do and I just love it. It always makes my lips look a little bit more pouty than they normally are. I don't know what it is. It's just this color it makes my lips look bigger than they actually are. Then the last liquid lipstick on the list is the Gerard Cosmetics Hydra Matte Liquid Lipstick and this is in the shade Mile High. I really like Gerard Cosmetics Liquid Lipsticks but this is probably my favorite one. This is also a really Really, really transfer proof liquid lipstick like it doesn't really move and it feels super super comfortable on the lips I chose this color because I haven't really been able to find another color quite like this it's a really kind of pale nude but it's also a little bit mauve and like has a little bit of rosy tones in it I'm not really sure it seems like a pretty average normal color but I haven't quite been able to find another color like this and it just wears really really nicely on my lips. It feels comfortable. It lasts for a really long time and it's pretty transfer proof. So that is pretty much it for all of my liquid lipsticks. I know that wasn't a lot, but those are my all time favorite liquid lipsticks. No, this video is not sponsored. It wouldn't even matter if it was sponsored because I love, like I truly love these liquid lipsticks. They're the ones that I reach for the most out of any of my liquid lipsticks and I have a lot of them, people. Trust me, I have a lot. So yeah, basically if you're wanting the most transfer proof liquid lipstick, if you're gonna make out with somebody or if you're planning on eating a bunch and you want your lipstick to stay, I would go for Beauty Bakery or Gerard Cosmetics is very transfer proof as well. If you're wanting something lighter and more comfortable to wear, I would stick with the Balm Meet Matte Hues 
or Ofra Cosmetics. Those are really good, comfortable, hydrating liquid lipsticks. I hope I kind of broke it down for you guys a little bit and explained everything well. Um, let me know what brand is your favorite liquid lipstick brand and what you trust the most. I know a lot of people are probably gonna be like, why isn't Anastasia Beverly Hills in your collection? Or why isn't Jeffree Star in your collection? ABH liquid lipsticks are pretty transfer proof as well, but they wear terribly on me. They seriously crumble so much. They're so drying on my lips and they just feel uncomfortable after about an hour of wearing them. And same with Jeffree Star, like any brand that I didn't mention wears bad on my lips. Like I have really dry lips, I have wrinkly lips as well. Like I don't have any filler in my lips or anything. So they are like normal wrinkly lips and liquid lipsticks sometimes don't wear very well on them. So the brands that I didn't mention probably are just too drying on me. I just have had bad experiences with them. But yeah, these are the brands that have done me well throughout the years. But anyways, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye guys.